Hey there, let's make this fantastic little pink flamingo card with goodies from the My Monthly Hero July 2022 card kit. This kit includes a 6x8 clear stamp layering set, 7 coordinating frame cuts, 5 ink cubes, self-adhesive pink and teal gems, and teal hero pearls in that sweet little 0.5 ounce size. You're going to love this kit and all the add-ons. They're super fun, super summery, and I can't wait for you to see how I made this card. So let's get into the action here. See all the little elements of this layering set? There are four pieces to the flamingos and then two for the little water scene under the bottom. You can also add dragonflies, fish, shrimp, grass. And there's a great die to cut out the flamingos with if you wanted to pop them up on the front of a card, which I've done. And I'll show you some of the other cards I made at the end of this one. But here I have die cut the flamingo die out so that I can use it as a guide for placing my flamingos down on my card front. I'm not going to die cut them out for this project, but this negative space here is wonderful for helping me to line up my layering stamps perfectly. And I'm going to use inks that aren't in the kit exactly. I'm going to use cotton candy, which is in the kit, but I'm also going to use pale tomato, which is super fun. And then I'm going to use some raspberry jam as well. I don't have the new ink pads here yet. They're supposed to be here later today, but uh, I do have the inks. One like the older inks, they're the same for this project. So I'm just going to lay down my cotton candy first, and then it's surprising to me, but pale tomato is a beautiful coral color, and I, I wasn't sure what to think when I was playing with pale tomato, but I really like it for the flamingos. It works perfectly for the mid layer. And you can see I'm drying my inks be between layers. What this does is it sets the ink in the first layer so that it's not wet when the second layer goes on top of it. That second layer, if, it, if the first layer is not dry, it can kind of blur when it goes in and mix with the other ink. So we really want the, the fine lines, these details, to stay crisp. So I'm drying between layers and ending up with the darkest layer here in this uh, the legs are just fantastic and the little under coat of their, the underneath of their bodies. It's just a fantastic layering set. I love this. And I'm going to end up with the beaks here. Now, if you happen to get the beaks off just a little bit, just take a little black fine liner pen and draw in a little bit more. I got them on perfectly using my little negative space here. It really did help a lot. So um, I didn't need to do that for this one, but I did it for one of my other projects and you'll be able to see that on my blog. The blog hop for this release includes a chance to win a $50 gift certificate to shop at Hero Arts. So be sure to head over to my blog, delanardi.com and find this post for July 5th and comment below. You have about a week after that before the winners are chosen so now i'm gonna add another layer of embossing and watermark ink here and then melt some sparkle embossing powder over the top of their legs super great super cool little design trick to add some more interest to your project now i'm going to melt some puff white embossing powder over these clouds and this will uh, add another bit of interest to my card front. It's subtle. You're not going to see, they're not the stars of the show here, but they are going to be great supporting actors in the sky. So I'm going to grab a bit of Scott soft sky ink here and blend me in a, a bit of blue over those clouds and then wipe off that blue off the top of them. And they'll stand out just a little bit. See, just a little bit. Now, in real life, you can see those are much better, but because I have lots of bright light coming onto my workspace here for my video, you're not seeing it as well. For the base layer here of the, of the um, 
water. I'm going to add some Arctic ink and then I'm going to add uh, some Paradise ink on top of that. And then stamp down a sentiment here at the bottom with some intense black ink that says you tickle me pink. <laughs> what a great little sentiment. Fantastic little card front. Just trim it down on all four sides about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to pop this up on the front of a top folding note card of Dove White cardstock using some foam tape. Now the formula I use is that old formula you can tear and it is available with a link in the description box below. I'm not going to tell you where I get it, but you can see it down there if you look in the description box. And I had some leftover gold glitter embossed dragonflies from another project and I thought they'd be fun just to glue here on the front of this one. Add a little bit more shine, use up some of my goodies I already made, and look how it just reflects in the light here. I just think it's a fun little project. I hope you enjoyed this one. Look at all these other ones. These are the ones you're going to see on my blog over at delandaardy.com. I have lots of inspiration over there for this week. I sure hope you've enjoyed this presentation. And if you want to feel, or if you're feeling shoppy, you want to go grab some of these things, just visit the links in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button and the little bell too. So whenever I do a video or go live, you'll get a notification. I hope you have a wonderful day.